Kids Toy Spot, we are having a look at the Mattel Total Heroes, The Flash. Flash appears much like the other heroes to be in the new 52 design. Although that's maybe not 100% correct, as it looks like he should have a couple more little accent details on his costume. Though he does have the chin guard that was, uh, you know, something that he was wearing in the new 52 outfit. The side of the package, on this side of the package, gives us something a little more classic for the design of uh, Flash here. Spin around the back. Your real name is Barry Allen, occupation police scientist, base of operations, Central City. Special abilities can run at light speed, can also pass through objects or phase into other dimensions. Look for other total hero figures. There's Superman, there's Batman, and there's Aquaman. One thing to note, though, about the Batman, let's see if I can bring the camera in there, is it appears that it's not the same figure. I noticed that actually before, and I thought, no, I'm just crazy, but that doesn't look like it's the same figure. Like, the head sculpt is even different. It doesn't even look like he's got the Superman curl, and also, you'll notice that the belt has the little sections in between the, uh, the Superman emblem or Superman logo uh, cut out. So I'm, I'm wondering if maybe they changed the design halfway through or maybe they opted to give, give them something different. At any rate, Spot's going to take a break. I'm going to get this opened up. When we come back, though, we're going to get a better look at the Mattel Total Heroes The Flash. There's more anyway, guys. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. With the Flash out of packaging, let's get a better look at this figure. This figure is an all-star, I think, for the Total Heroes line. In fact, really, the Total Heroes as a whole is a really stellar line. I, it's just a shame that not enough people were really getting behind this line. Or maybe if enough people were buying it, for one reason or no another, Mattel just decided they didn't want to continue it. But what was so disappointing is that we didn't really get a good handful of, of villains to support the heroes that this hero heavy line uh, had this figure looking at the way he is designed i mean i could imagine a gorilla grod uh captain cold even like uh i'm trying to think of it like even another well solomon grundy i think would also have fit perfectly in this line as well but we only really had sinestro um i think we also had of course bizarro and um I'm trying to think of the Black Manta also was another one. But we really didn't get anything. This also could have been a perfect line for a Joker. At any rate, at any rate, the figure itself is great. Kind of a blocky, proportioned figure. Very similar to the other designs of characters that we've seen. I feel like this is what Brave and the Bold could have been. Uh, instead of giving us the Brave and Bold figures that had the big holes. Remember they had the big holes in their shoulders and stuff that you could add stuff to? Just nonsense for the sake of nonsense, where posable figures, I think, could have gone a long way. So this reminds me like a, a Brave and the Bold mixed with the Batman, mixed possibly, I would even say like possibly with, uh, I don't know, like the line itself... Maybe even like a like an Avengers line too. Like I think Avengers could have done well in this in this treatment. I can't for the life of me remember that other line. Um, but the Flash looks great. He's not quite New Fifty Two. Well, he is and he isn't. He's got the chin guard of New Fifty Two Flash, and he's got the armor of New Fifty Two Flash. But then some of the uh, accents on his arms and his on his uh, belt area there don't quite gel as much with uh, New Fifty Two designs. It kind of kind of taken inspired by New 52 and just kind of ran with their own thing. Uh, this is a common sight I've noticed with a lot of the figures too. And I'm wondering if the figures got reused. Like for example, you can see the shoulder section on Flash is the exact same as Superman. And on the other side there as well. So maybe like the bicep has been reused and they've just simply changed out the hands. In fact, Reaching off camera again to Batman. Batman's got that too. So it looks like the torsos are exactly the same to one another. The hands are slightly different. I guess the forearms are the same too, except for Batman. Legs look like they could be similar as well. But 
even though they are really reusing a lot of the same components, the figures themselves are so different from coloring and, of course, the head sculpts that they look like their own thing. Um, by also just a comparison, let's put Superman right there. We'll put Batman right there. We'll put Flash, we already were looking at right there. And we'll bring in Wonder Woman. These are the figures that we've looked at so far. I've got Steel. I don't know where I've got... I put Steel somewhere in a tote. Let's see if I can find him. There we go. Get her to stand. Hello? No. Yeah, she doesn't want to... Oh, maybe. Maybe. Okay, there's the figures right there. Take it all in quickly before Wonder Woman falls over. Okay, good. All that, and we're just going to move them off camera anyways. Uh, when it comes to Flash's posability, same as the other figures, ball joint in the head, hinge shoulders, full rotation on the forearm, or the main arm there, a bend at the elbow, which also allows that forearm to rotate, rotation in the wrist, rotation in the waist, ball joint legs, hinged knees, and finally, hinged feet. I guess if you had a proper display stand, which I probably could find, you could probably get Flash in kind of like a little running pose. Just a matter of getting the foot. I might have. I would probably end up having to do it like, like that, I guess. Maybe like that. There we go. Yeah, it's great looking figures. I, I have to admit, I really like these. Initially, picking up only the one. You know how it goes, down the hill it went, getting larger and more menacing in size. That's what it's like to be a collector. That being a side though, that being a side point though, if you if you see these figures, don't overlook them. You know, pick them up, maybe pick up one of these. You might be sold, might, might end up liking the rest of these. But I think they're a good solid line. I just wish Mattel had actually done more with them. We got a ton of heroes, very few villains. That makes me sad. Very, very sad. However, though, today's Toy Spot, we are continuing our looks at the Mattel Total Heroes. Today, we're having a look at the fastest man alive, The Flash. Stay tuned, guys. Spot's going to have more videos heading your way. I am. I am. As always, thanks for watching. See you next time. Mm -hmm.